this. Uh, people are counting down the days until a new Kendrick Lamar album drops. It has been, what did they say, 1,638 days or something since Kendrick dropped last. So, looking forward to the new Pusha T. Hopefully, Mike. the Kendrick drops in this calendar year. I'm going to ask you, do you, I know I've asked you this before, but do you think Kendrick is dropping in 2021 or are we going to get this in 2022? He needs to drop in this year because it's a great year. Because I'm not going to look at it the same way if he dropped next year. I, I want to hear that shit next this year. year and I've said that. I don't, I mean, like that whole five year wait thing is cool. And so here's something people need to think about. The last time that an MC this great took this much time off is actually when Rock Kim took this much time off, Mike. He was, by the time, he was semi-retired. By the, but he wasn't semi-retired. Don't Sweat the Technique was still a dope album. It just wasn't like his predecessors. No, I mean, but, you know what Mike, I mean? I just think that you're talking about from 92 to 97, right? Correct. I think that hiatus was, I mean, the group broke up and everything. So he wasn't like a solo act. It's a different kind of break. No, no, no. Five years off is five years off. Yeah. So I'm I'm talking about the stature of it too. But what I'm saying is is that Mike, you know, what really happened to Rock him is that well Pop came along and Nas came along and Big came, and Big came along Jay and Jay came, came along. along. And so what I mean when I say I wanna hear it this year, oh, he's not even up against it the way Rock M was. Cause that's being up up against it when you walking back and them dudes are sitting up there walking around. That's being up against it as a legend. He ain't up against it like that. And so I want to see him produce competitively when these other cats are dropping. And the only way I'm going to be okay with his joint dropping next year is pushing Conway dropping right after him. Because I want to hear him and I want to talk about his album in relationship to an album that we already know came out this year is great, which is King's Disease 2. He's never had that up against him when he's dropped. There's mm-hmm. not one year that he's dropped that there's been an album, the caliber of King's Disease 2, that comes out. And so, yeah, it's, and right. especially if Pusha T and Conway drop this year, and I'm only okay with it being next year, if Pusha and Conway shit going back next year, I want to see what you do with the real comp. You got think, the catalog. I think Conway's you got dropping respect. this year. I mean, not this year. I think Conway, in my opinion, I think Conway's dropping next week. Mike, like I said, if Conway and Pusha T are dropping this year and Nas has already made King's Disease 2, I don't want to hear this album next year, and I'm not going to rate it the same. And even if it's great, the first thing that I'm going to say is, well, he didn't drop it up against heavy competition. It's the first thing we're going to well, talk about. Well, I mean, he's going to drop it at the top of the year if he does that, because obviously he's doing the Super Bowl. I think he's going to drop it at the top of 2022, so he'll be in the lead for album of the year, like, right away. But what Not interested he will, in hearing that shit. What he will be in danger hear. of is, you know, the year going by and people kind of forgetting about it, because I think at the pace that people are making albums now, people ain't slowing down. A lot of the people that came out this year, they're coming out next year, too. I got a Man. feeling that Conway's coming out next week. I saw that Revolt was, you know, they made a post or something that his album was out or coming out and then it was deleted or something. I don't know. This is rap. This is competitive. Yeah. He got heavy competition. He need to drop in a heavy competition year. We don't know what next year look like. We know what this year already look like. Because here's what I'm saying. Because he's never been in a position... Of, uh, he's never been in, in Nas or Jay's position of like releasing something in a year where some shit's been heavy and your album isn't the album. Yeah, Gray 8 says uh, Kendrick low key does drop in weak years. He does. Yeah. So we're going to call it out because it's a fact. He's dropped every album he's dropped is dropped in a weak year, dropping a strong year. He's, you're right. Cause, I cause, mean, because, 2017 cause smoking, was a weak cause, year. Because cause, cause you smoking on niggas' top five, right? I well, come smoke these niggas then. Yeah. And you know what? And even if we're talking about this year in the context of quality, he is a mainstream. He's a star. You know what I'm saying? He's somebody that everybody's looking for. You know Drake and Cole dropped this year. Since that's the conversation, right? You're smoking on top fives. And the conversation is always Kendrick, Cole, Drake. They all dropped this year. Has he ever dropped in a year where, all, where both of them dropped? Mike, he need to drop this shit. 
I don't want to hear the whole promotional rollout, all that, because here's the thing of what he really is at the end of the day. Oh, he's Kendrick Lamar. All he has to do is drop the project. So he don't need no promotional run. He don't need no build up. Everybody's already been waiting. You drop this shit in this year while all these niggas is on fire and see where you stand. And you stand on that. Super Bowl stand not, on that. Super Bowl is not to February. He's not dropping this year. Ain't nobody trying to hit. Uh, like, like, hey, as long as, hey, Mike, as long as around the time that he's dropping, I see Benny about to drop, Gibbs about to drop, Conway about to drop, Nas on another project. I'm cool. I want him in some comp though. Yeah. Because I, because I don't really know how to look at his classics outside of Good Kid, Mad City. Because I don't go back and play any of those records, and I have to go back to the thought. It's like, well, that's just the best shit that I heard this year, but it was a weak year. No, because I, I don't go listen to them or or, or uh, to Pimp a Butterfly like that. I told you, Mike, I don't listen to them albums like that. If he would have dropped Damn the same year Daytona dropped, I'm sorry, Daytona's still the album of the year. That's what I'm saying. I want him to have some comp. Like Mike, how about this? You know, some comp would be like if he were to drop Damn last year. Oh That's yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Having comp. Twenty twenty was multiple heavy. Multiple albums to choose from because, like. Alfredo from a king to a god, pray for Paris. Oh, no, no, no. Now you got some comp. Pray for Paris is better than Dan. Yeah, pray for Paris is better than Dan. The game has changed, man. It's it's very different, and I'm interested to hear what, what Kendrick's going to put out. You heard that freestyle that um, you know he put out there, right? Or supposed freestyle or whatever leaked, right? Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, man. I wasn't impressed. K. Thompson says, but to Pimp Butterfly came out the first quarter. It's not his fault artists put out weak material. It's true. It's true. But I think that's what he's going to bank on next year, too. I think he's going to go out there in the first quarter and, you know, kind of coast it from there. All um, I know is that these last two years have been extremely strong, and we've heard nothing from him in a time where he usually releases an album. So, Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well... I mean, ain't nothing like a great album to shut us up, Mike. Ain't nothing like a great album to shut us up. I agree with you, man. I've been a naysayer the whole time. I don't know what else to say. I don't think I'm, the album's going to be I'm, good. I'm not, I'm not naysaying. I'm asking him to produce in a competitive and quality year. So, so part, like, like I weigh things differently. Like, for me, like, Isaiah's, uh, like Isaiah Thomas's two championships to me are almost like four because of what he did to get his rings. You feel me? And who he went against. And who he went against. I don't look at it the same. Like, Isaiah's two rings matter more. Was Isaiah playing with any top 50 players? No. Were them other guys? Yeah. Did he beat those guys? Yeah. Did he do it back-to-back -back years? Yeah. Was that team on the on the verge of maybe winning four straight titles if it wasn't for a bad pass the year before they won the two titles and then an ankle injury the last year? Yeah. They got cheated. That shit different. They, they shit got different. cheated that one year, man. That wasn't a foul. I, I get it. Lambeer's um, reputation was what it was. But Lambeer didn't foul Kareem. He shouldn't have been at the line. Right. So I'm talking about but yeah. the year before they went on the two title run, Mike, that was the year that Bird stole the ball. They had that game in hand, was about to go to the finals. They had the best record that year. Well, that's their the other, fault. That's their the fault. Year, but yeah, I got you. I yeah, mean, the year that they lost the finals, they was whooping L.A.'s ass till Isaiah got hurt. So yeah. like they and could have had four and, and rings, but the comp series. level, the comp level, he beat the Sixers and the Celtics and then beat the Lakers. Nah, yeah. that's different. No, no, that's what I, I want Kendrick you. to do. Yeah. But I mean, and the only reason that we're saying these things about Kendrick is because he is the one that talks this competitive stuff. Now, if yeah. he was on some humble shit like J. Cole, just living his life. And you know Mike. what I'm saying? Wasn't talking about smoking on your top fives like that. I wouldn't be saying any of these things. Mike, but last heard on an album, he was talking like that too on feel, yeah, Mike. Yeah, to talk all this competitive he, stuff. Mike, and somehow, he said on feel, he felt like nobody was even close. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah. come out here to push a T and Conway and Benny and Gibbs He's and come been through talking that. this. And see, the other part yeah. about that fact is yeah. we live in such a, 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 a very collaborative, heavy scene in hip hop right now. You don't even get on tracks with people where we could, you know what I'm saying, say Mike, that this person killed you on the track or whatever, but, whatever. Mike, before, after Good Kid, Mad City, and before To Pimp a Butterfly, so lyrically at his peak and in his prime, he's on My Name Is My Name right next to Pusha T, and he's not stunting on Pusha T at all. Pusha got the better verse to me, actually. So he's not untouchable like people be talking about. Pusha T's out rapping him on My Name Is My Name, which is right in between his two biggest and best albums. 
He can be had. I told you Jay Electronica technically has a better verse on control lyrically. A lot of people say that. Uh Gray A says Gibbs wants Kendrick smoke. He does. People are calling he does. for it. Gibbs and wants it's crazy the smoke. And I'm because, with that. Because I'm people, with that. Because when people go out there and respond to it and say they want to the smoke, Kendrick says nothing. Mike, it's not a good look when you keep saying you better than everybody and Drake's been in more battles than you have. It's real. That's real. It's real life. If you're this dude, hold on, that shit that you were saying on control, walk out here and prove it. There's a crop of MCs out here waiting for you to prove that to. If you the best and you don't give a fuck who it is, then you need to be entertaining the smoke from Gibbs and you need to make something better than Daytona and from a king to a god lyrically. After Damn dropped, I said Kendrick is in the top 10 and he deserved it because of his catalog. Kendrick's no longer in my top 10. Mike, I wrote an article for According to Hip Hop. It was one of our biggest traction articles where I said you have to put him in your top 10 now. But Mike, I was doing that under the estimation that he was on a track and on an arc that was about to continue. The arc has literally stopped for five years since I wrote that article. Kendrick's no longer in the top 10 for me. Are you saying the same thing? Mike, not Mike. since that has happened, Pusha T has dropped Daytona. Mm-hmm. Jada Kiss just had this whole versus run. That's who I kind of had him ahead of. I can't clearly say in clear conscience he's ahead of them right now in my mind because I never thought he was a better MC than either one of them bar for bar to begin with. Yes. I was giving him weight about the catalog. Yeah. And then now if we start measuring the catalog by the individual songs and like, you know, uh, I guess the hits in, in relation to his other counterparts, I don't even know how heavy that weighs in. Like, how about this, Mike? Is there a record on Damn that's contagious, like, if you know, you know? Mm. -mm. Go prove it. If you know, you know is not the best record on Daytona. That's my whole point. Come listen, out here and prove it. Listen, man. If we this were to rap, sit here, right? If Mike, we didn't was... we just see KRS One and Big Daddy Kane? KRS One, Big Daddy Kane, Cool G Rap, and Rock M was all dropping albums around each other. I tell you this. If Pusha T and Kendrick did a versus, Kendrick's getting ran out the building. He's getting ran. Oh, he's getting ran. Yeah. Oh, he's getting ran. And that's just the truth. He's getting ran. So, take it how you want it, man. I'm looking forward to it, man. We still have the new Pusha album to talk about. I know that's coming because Pusha's talking about it. And we know a Kendrick album's coming because he's on the Super Bowl lineup and there's no other... There's no other reason for him to be there other than the fact that he got new music coming. So either he's going to drop off that lineup <laughs> or we're going to get a new K-Dot album uh, pretty Mike. soon. A lot of people say that Kendrick Lamar is overrated. And, man, this is, um, yeah, I'm, I'm getting all kind of stuff I think we're about to find out where chat. he's rated. That's why I, I want to hear this album so that we know how to rate him. Because, cause Mike, when he said that smoking on your top five line, I'm like, I was thinking to myself, I was like, well, nigga, you're not smoking on my top five right now. Because the last top, my top five for the last two, three years are... Gibbs, Benny, Conway, Pusha T, and Nas. You're not smoking on that. You're not smoking on my top five. <laughs> hey, man, I'm looking forward to it, man. I'm looking forward to it. Well, man, we've been running for damn near like two and a half hours, man. Great show. Yeah, yeah. It's time I'm to holler at y'all next week. Enjoy your Friday evening. Enjoy your weekend. Oh.